It's been a transformative year in the WNBA, driven by the arrival of former Iowa superstar Caitlin Clark and a stellar rookie class that has propelled the league to record TV ratings. The average audience for WNBA games in 2023 on major networks such as ABC, ESPN, ESPN2, CBS, ION, and NBA TV was 462,000 viewers. However, this figure nearly tripled in the first month of the 2024 season, with an average of 1.32 million viewers tuning in. A significant contributor to these impressive numbers is the on-court rivalry between Caitlin Clark and fellow rookie Angel Reese. Their matchups have become must-watch events, consistently drawing high viewership. Each of their past two contests were the most-watched WNBA games since the Memorial Day 2001 meeting between the Los Angeles Sparks and Houston Comets, which attracted 2.44 million viewers. The Indiana Fever's 91-83 win over the Chicago Sky on June 16 drew 2.25 million viewers on CBS. Following this, the Sky's thrilling 88-87 comeback victory over the Fever on the following Sunday pulled in 2.30 million viewers on ESPN. Both games not only showcased the competitive nature of the WNBA but also highlighted the individual brilliance of Clark and Reese. In the most recent matchup, Clark made history by becoming the first rookie in the league to score 15 or more points, dishing out 10 or more assists, and hitting 5 or more three-pointers in a single game. She also set a new single-game franchise record for the Indiana Fever with 13 assists. On the other side, Angel Reese delivered a career-high performance with 25 points and 16 rebounds, marking her eighth consecutive double-double and extending her WNBA rookie record. Reese's clutch performance included scoring 10 of her 25 points in the game's final 6.38, erasing a 12-point deficit and securing the win with a go-ahead basket with just 53.2 seconds remaining. Such stellar performances have placed both players at the top of any WNBA rookie rankings. According to CBS Sports' latest edition of WNBA Rookie Rankings, Angel Reese has now surpassed Clark for the top spot. Isabel Gonzalez of CBS Sports praises Reese's productivity, noting her impressive rebounding skills, which have her currently ranked second in the league with 11.1 rebounds per game. Reese is just one double-double away from tying Candace Parker's single-season record streak from 2015. Reese's rebounding prowess was evident right from the start, but she initially struggled with finishing around the basket. A timely piece of advice from Atlanta Dream Center Tina Charles, who suggested she take her time when scoring, has significantly improved Reese's field goal percentage. Since June 8, Reese has shot at least 50% in four of her last six games, demonstrating her rapid development and adjustment to the professional level. Meanwhile, Caitlin Clark remains a formidable contender for the WNBA Rookie of the Year award. Averaging 16.3 points per game and excelling in her playmaking abilities, Clark's 13 assists against the sky were the highest in Fever history. Her average of 6.6 .6 assists per game ranks her fourth in the WNBA. Known for her remarkable shooting range, Clark has also made a significant impact from beyond the arc, tallying 51 three-pointers, just one short of the league lead held by Sabrina Ionescu and Kayla McBride. Beyond Clark and Reese, the rest of Gonzalez's top five rookies include the Chicago Sky's Camila Cardoso at No. 3, the Los Angeles Sparks' Rick Kia Jackson at No. 4, and the Dallas Wings' J.C. Sheldon at No. 5. This rookie class has undeniably brought a new level of excitement and competitiveness to the WNBA, promising a bright future for the league as these young stars continue to develop and make their mark on the sport. The 2024 season is shaping up to be a landmark year for the WNBA, not just in terms of viewership but also in showcasing the incredible talent of its rookies. With players like Angel Reese and Caitlin Clark leading the way, the league is poised for continued growth and increased popularity.